Griffins, welcome back to Griffin News. First up, some reminders about the upcoming dance. Hey Griffins, this Friday we have the Cowboys vs. Surfers dance. What's good guys? Make sure to dress up as a cowboy or a surfer. This is my friend Derek here. He is a cowboy. Hi. <laughs> I'm dressed as a surfer and I get all the hot girls. Make sure to fill out your permission slip. The document is on the student activities page. It costs $5 for general, $10 for VIP, and $8 at the door. You can buy the tickets before school or at the door. See you there, Griffins! This Friday is a Cowboys vs. First Spirit Day dance. Make sure to dress up as either a cowboy or a surfer. And this is a stamp card opportunity, so make sure to dress up. Hey, Griffins! This Monday was President's Day. It was made an official holiday in 1879. Established in recognition of George Washington's presidency. Now we're going to tell you some fun facts about presidents. Did you know James Madison was the shortest president at 5 feet 4 inches and weighed 100 pounds? That's less than me! Wow, that's, that's crazy, crazy boy. boy. Did you know that John Tyler, the 10th president, had 15 children? Can you imagine 15 children running around inside the White House? No. Okay. William Henry Harrison died 32 days after being president. He caught a cold and he was he was in the rain for too long and he was giving out a speech to his uh, inauguration <laughs> speech. But yeah, it's really devastating. I was like crying last night because of it. This is also pretty crazy. On the day Abraham Lincoln was about to be assassinated, he had told his bodyguard that he had dreamt of being assassinated and it came true. That's crazy. Now for a talent show recap.
Another important person is Serena Williams. She grew up with her sister Venus, who also became a professional tennis player and has won 23 Grand Slam titles, the most of any man or woman ever. On top of that, as of 2021, she has made $94 million. She now lives with her husband and daughter and has unfortunately retired, but will forever have an impact on the sport. There are also figures like Simone Biles, Rosa Parks, and LeBron James. Now for some student interviews. Hi, what's your name and grade? Uh, Shri Krishna, 6th grade. Okay, so um, what song do you want to be played at the dance? Probably something like Baby Shark. Okay, thank you. Uh, what's your name and grade? Um, I'm Idina, 7th grade. Um, cowboys versus surfers. Cowboys. Why? Because like, I don't know. I don't like oceans. Don't okay. Like okay. All right. Leadership wants to know: Cowboys or surfers? Surfers. Cowboys. All right. Why? Surfs up, dude. All right. That's a W take. Uh, cowboys have hats and horses. All right. Nice. Not okay. What's your name, dude? Trina, sixth grade. Okay. Uh, what songs do you want to be played at the dance? A golden hour because I'm going with the safest one. Okay, thanks. All right, what's your name and grade? Uh, Sam V6. All right, uh, what song do you want to be played at the dance? Uh, Wheels on the Bus by Coco Melon. All right, this is W Take. <laughs> Cowboys or surfers? Um, surfers because I like to go surfing, but I can't surf actually. But I don't really like horses because like they kind of like stink. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Next up, a little insight on snack attacks. Hey Griffins, today we're snack attacking a teacher. If you guys don't know what snack attacking is, it's where we snack attack, we like give a bowl of snacks to a teacher every day, and they get to pick one of their choice. So today we're Mr. Hanavan, and tomorrow we'll be a new teacher. Hooray! Why do we do snack attack? To um, spread appreciation for our uh, teachers. Yeah. yeah. Sar, what's the first step of snack attacking? Yep. We're on the way. Lauren can open this door first try. Hooray! All right, guys. This is the stu oh, this is a student store. There's, there's our snacks. This is this is what the snack this is what the snack bowl looks like that the teachers get to choose from. What do we got in here? Okay. We got some we got some bars. All right, let's go. So we're going to Mr. Hannah Van, and yeah. What should I not? You've been snack, snack. 
What should I take? Anything you want. So that's how you ask? That's how you ask. I'm good. You're so wonderful. So what's the cleanup process after this? What do we do? We take the snack attack bowl back to the student store. Woo! And then we go back to our work. Yeah. Hooray! That was the end of our snack attack today. See you, Griffins. Go. Oh, um, why do we do snack attack? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Griffins! You remember that new segment we have, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader Science Edition? Well, now we have a history edition. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sabira, your host, and this is my co-host, Myra. And today we're interviewing Mr. Toldian with history questions. So the first question is, George Washington was A, the 16th President of the United States, B, a British Prime Minister, or C, the Continental Army Commander-in-Chief? He was the Continental Army Commander-in-Chief. That is correct. Okay, number two. What is the question? Sorry. What is the system that makes no branches of the government overpower other branches? A. Checks and balances. B. Legislator. Or C. Executive branch is the most powerful. Uh, checks and balances, please. That is correct. Okay. Number three. When did the U.S. Civil War end? A. 1865. B. 1860. C. 18, sorry, 1861. Or D. 1934. All right, good choices, but it's definitely 1865. That is correct. Question four. What year did the Pilgrims settle in the New World, now known as the USA? A, 1620, B, 1905, C, 1690, or D, 1492? I'm going to go with 1620, please. That's correct. Yeah. Question five. What were the two causes of the Civil War? A. Floods and stock market rising. B. Pay rises and droughts. C. The election of Abraham Lincoln in the South having the right to secede. And D. The stock market crashing and wildfires. Uh, the election of Abraham Lincoln and the southern states uh, having the option to secede from the Union. Oh, that is correct. Okay, question six. The lost colony was a nickname of which colony? A. Roanoke. B. Virginia. C. Jamestown. Or D. Massachusetts. I think it was... I know it was Roanoke, and I think that was A. That is correct. Okay, question seven. Who was the president of the Confederate States during the Civil War? A, Jefferson Davis, B, Thomas Jefferson, C, Abraham Lincoln, or D, Ulysses Grant? It was Jefferson Davis. That is correct. Okay, question eight. Name three branches of the government. Uh, the executive, the legislative, and the judicial branch. That is correct. Mr. Toldy, you got all of the questions cor yeah. correct. And for our fun fact, almost 10,000 soldiers were below the minimum age limit, but fought anyways during the Civil War. Okay, thank you, Mr. Toldy. Fascinating. Thank you so much. Wow, Mr. Toldy, you got 8 out of 8 right. Next week, we're going to be interviewing Mr. Fraser. That's it for today, Griffins. We'll see you next time on... Griffin News!